Hey everybody, it's Marilene, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. Now I have had some requests to talk about cherry smoothie again. This is from Zara. And some have asked if this is actually a dupe of Tom Ford Lost Cherry. I don't own that bottle. I just have a small sample here that I've been using. And I have been wearing this for the past like four or five days now uh, and have been comparing it to the Tom Ford Lost Cherry. So first I want to talk about the cherry smoothie from Zara. It was a blind buy for me. This one I believe was $15.95 and this is a, I think it's 90 ml. It doesn't really show here. It's already rubbing off, but I think it's a 90 ml. Oh no, it's actually 100 ml. Okay, so cherry smoothie, Upon first sniff, absolutely loved it. What I get here, as soon as I spray it on skin and also on paper, you do smell this gorgeous, creamy, milky, cherry scent. It reminds me of cherry gummy bears, um, mixed red berries, like cherries, of course, strawberries and cherries, and raspberries, sorry, and also, when I smell this, I'm also reminded of the cherry scented chapstick, which is actually a scent that I don't mind at all. Um, in the winter time, my lips do get chapped and dry and sometimes I use that cherry chapstick. And yeah, you do get a little bit of that in here as well. But the texture of this fragrance kind of takes over that chapstick kind of scent and it's milky, it's frothy, it reminds me of a cherry or strawberry milkshake. I'm getting some whipped cream vibes in here as well. It's very delicious, mouth-watering, gourmand, sweet. So after a few minutes in the mid and dry down of cherry smoothie, it starts to get a little bit powdery on my skin. Um, but it still stays creamy. The texture is still creamy as it was in the opening. And also, I do find that as this fragrance dries down, I like it more and more because of that nice creamy whipped cream kind of thing that it gives off. So, smelling it up, up close on skin, I don't like it as much as um, the scent in Sillage. Um, up, up to skin, if you put your nose, I mean, when I put my nose right up to where I sprayed it, it does smell slightly sharp. It's not really in a bad way, but there is like this kind of sharp harshness to it um, that reminds me of cherry lollipops or strawberry lollipops, um, hard candies, that kind of scent. So the lasting power on cherry smoothie is pretty good. It's not one that really projects a lot. I do have to come up pretty close to be able to smell it. Um, but yeah, the staying power is pretty good, pretty average. I would say, I haven't really timed it, but maybe five, six hours, um, but very, very close to the skin. Um, as I said earlier, it's basically a cherry, um, milky, uh, whipped cream milkshake and it actually doesn't smell very expensive if you know what I mean I don't feel luxurious when I smell it but it does smell absolutely amazing and as I said earlier it smells better you know when I get whiffs of it rather than putting my nose right up to it so now there's Tom Ford lost cherry I have reviewed it in the past. I can link it down there if you guys are interested. And with Lost Cherry, right away, upon first sniff, you can tell that it's definitely not as sweet as the cherry smoothie. It's It has this more smooth and rich feeling to it. It's less candy-like and also it has a nice warmth to it. Um, there's a little bit of nuttiness in here as well. And it just makes me feel like really nice and cozy. I believe there's almonds in the note, in the note breakdown for uh, Lost Cherry. And I do get that nice, warm, cozy nuttiness out of 
the uh, Tom Ford. So when I wear the Lost Cherry, uh, I do smell a whipped cream. It reminds me of whipped cream with cherries on top, very much like a nice sweet dessert. And imagining chopping up some ripe cherries and also putting that on top of this whipped cream dessert. And it smells like a mixture of different cherries. I'm thinking of unripe cherries as well that gives off a little bit of a sour tanginess to it mixed in with overripe cherries making it very juicy and also maraschino, maraschino cherries. I don't know if I'm saying that right which to me smells more sweet and um, more candy-like in the mid and dry down of this one. And also in the dry down of Lush Cherry, I do get this nice booziness, a boozy feeling that reminds me of Amaretto Liqueur. And also the interesting thing about uh, the Lush Cherry, I also get a faint, faint hint of leather in the dry down. And leather isn't in the notes as far as I remember, but there is this nice dark earthiness to Lost Cherry that mixes in very beautifully with the fun, more sweet um, candy, uh, sweetness, gourmand dessert. Um, let me see here. Which one do I like more? Okay, so I will say that they're both really delicious, Cherry Smoothie and Tom Ford Lost Cherry. I find that they're more similar in the dry down than they are in the opening. In the opening, I find them to be quite different. In the same family, yes, where the cherry is dominant, um, but in the dry down, you can just tell that the Lost Cherry is a lot more complex, it has more depth, it's more interesting. With longevity and performance, the cherry smoothie actually lasts longer on my skin as a skin scent. Um, with cherry smoothie, it gives off this nice, happy, fun, flirty kind of, kind of vibe, it's not that serious. Uh, the Lost Cherry, for me, feels a lot more elegant and more refined, more serious, more luxurious. And honestly, smelling them side by side, when you really like think about it, you can definitely smell the differences. But I don't really... I don't know, I like them both for different reasons, of course. The price with this one is is a lot more affordable, um, $15.95 for the cherry smoothie. Tom Ford Lost Cherry, I don't know exactly what it is now because they keep on re raising prices and <laughs> I'm very like lost with, um, you know, how often, you know, when I see the prices of Tom Ford, it just feels like it's getting higher and higher. But yeah, I can uh, find out and I'll just uh, write it down there somewhere. But Lost Cherry is very, very expensive. And um, as I said earlier, you can tell the differences, but at the end of the day, for me, it depends, you know, of whether I like the scent. Of them and I like them both a lot. They're both wonderful. If you liked Tom Ford Lost Cherry, um, yeah you probably really like this one again because of the price and also because mostly in the dry down um, they smell the most similar um, but they're definitely not the same fragrance. I don't know if I want to call it a dupe or not but I will say that um, this one is definitely in the same family as the Tom Ford um, Lost Cherry. In any case, for me, it was a successful blind buy for $15.95. It's very easy to wear. It's a fun fragrance. I absolutely love it. Um, I love the, Tom, uh, the Lost Cherry as well. But uh, the price, maybe, yeah, I, I think maybe one day I will probably try to own this one. Uh, but in the meantime, I do not mind this one at all. And it was, for me, a safe blind buy. And if you see it in the store, um, maybe you should definitely get your nose on it. And yeah, that was basically my comparison video between Zara 
cherry smoothie and also Tom Ford Lost Cherry. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you've tried both, please let me know what you think of, it, of that in the comments. And if you think they're actually dupes of each other, um, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you soon in the next video. Take care guys, bye-bye.